I'm going to show you guys how to create a professional LinkedIn profile photo using Midjourney. So you only need two AI tools to pull this off. The first one is Midjourney, and then the other thing will be an AI bot called Insight Face Swap. And I'm going to show you guys how to access that. So you go to this page on GitHub. I'm going to put the link in the description below. But pretty much all you have to do is scroll down all the way over here where it says step by step guide. We want to click on this link. So it's now trying to get access to your Discord and you just have to select which server you want to put it on. So once you authorize access for the bot to your Discord, you'll see it pop up on the right here. You can see Insight Face Swap Bot. All right, so now we have all of our tools. I'm going to show you guys now a step-by-step -step guide of what you have to do and you'll be able to follow this for yourself. So I do need a test subject. So I'm actually going to use Matt Wolf. He's the guy that actually taught me how to do this. I'll put a link in the description below for his video as well, if you want to check out his channel. So the first thing you're going to need is a photo of yourself. You want to make sure you find something that's high quality. You want to make sure that your face is not skewed or covered, don't have glasses on, just a very clear, think of a passport photo. Now I've just gone through to Matt Wolf's LinkedIn page. He's got a photo there and it's just as easy as right clicking, saving the image. So we have our photo. The first thing we want to do is we want to save the face onto the actual bot. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So you want to go down to where it says save ID and then you press enter. Now it's giving you guys the option to drag and drop or click and upload a file. So I'm going to go and I'm going to grab that photo of Matt Wolf. There we go. Make sure we uh, name the actual photo as well. I'll just say I'll just call it Matt. All right. So now we have actually given the bot the photo of ourselves and we're going to come back to that and I'll explain where that comes into play. So for the next step, what I want you guys to do is actually upload the same photo just directly onto Discord. And there's a reason for this. All right, so the photo is uploaded. Let's click onto it and we go open in browser. So that's gonna take us here. What you wanna do is we wanna grab this link. Okay, so now you have the link. We wanna go imagine, okay? And we wanna paste the link there, okay? Now don't click enter yet. So what you wanna add next to it is banking financial professional employee sitting in a modern corporate head office wearing a nice suit. Now I'm just using that as an example. You may not be a banking financial professional. You could be a solicitor. Obviously, you just have to enter that information and you'll be able to get a specific prompt tailored to your actual profession. All right, so let's hit enter and let's see the result that we get. All right, so it's now given me four different examples of a banking and financial professional obviously sitting in a modern office. And you can see here, it's used Matt Wolf's photo to try to find someone that looks very similar to him. I'm going to go with this third one. Okay, so let's upscale that. Okay, now we're not done yet. The reason why I like this one is that it was able to mimic Matt Wolf's hair, his beard, kind of his nose and facial features as well. Now, let's be honest, that's not his face. This is the part where the face swap bot is going to come into play. All right, so you want to go over here and you want to click these three dots and you want to click apps and you want to click in swapper. All right, so what it's done, it's gone off the original image it's done a face swap based on the image that we provided before not only does it have matt wolf's hair his beard you know the size of his head it's also added his facial features as well so that was the first example let's now do matt wolf maybe as a lawyer here's the prompt make sure you always grab the url a professional lawyer sitting in a courtroom wearing a nice expensive suit. I'm going to go with the second one here. Let's upscale that. And remember, we just have to go over here to the right. Click apps. Let's click in swapper. Let's see how well it does. And there you have it. Now we have Matt Wolf a professional lawyer sitting in a courthouse. So those are two examples that you guys can use for your own professional photos. Now, depending on what profession you actually are, will determine what prompt you're going to enter, whether that be a doctor, whether that be uh, a customer service rep, whether that be, I don't know, um, a firefighter, whatever it is, you're gonna enter the information into mid journey first, then you're gonna be using the bot to swap the face. Now, before I go, I just thought I'd show you guys some of the ones of me that I've just worked on. Here's one here, I'm sitting in like a chair. Doesn't look too bad, I like the suit. Here's another one of me like, okay, like the, why so serious? Relax, dude. <laughs> Obviously it's not one that I like 
chose but like it's just funny some of the results here's another one of me which is look i don't mind it like obviously that's not my hair but you know it kind of has the face or what i think of is the face anyway guys i hope this video was able to help you create that perfect professional linkedin profile that you've been wanting this whole time now if you do give it a try and you want to share your results with me send me a message on twitter or send me a message on instagram i'd love to see your before and after photo guys Get creative and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.